out of hoax. Victor here. Victor the eye fish. It's uh, 120 degrees here right now. I'm just kidding, it's about 93. But this wind actually kind of helps. It's kind of difficult now to position the boat because if I go on top of the wind, then the sun is in my eyes. If the sun is in my back, then the wind is against me and I'm casting with a float. But have you noticed, I always start with some kind of complaint. But it's around 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., <laughs> just right at noon, bluebird sky. There is some white clouds there, but yeah, that's the conditions. Water temperature is 82 degrees. Summer is finally here in Illinois. So uh, I'm going to just put 30 minutes on the clock and deal with some dinks. Somebody is not following the no wake zone rules again but okay 30 minutes starting now all right i'm fishing on top of some nasty brush here i'll just be using a float with a nickel worm i kind of abandoned oh on the drop i kind of abandoned trout magnet completely for float fishing for jigging is still really good because it survives bluegill better than any other bait that i know nico worm you think survives one survives bluegill too the problem with nico worm is this long tail so they always come and grab the tail I actually have a clicker in the bag. I bought a clicker, but I started the video. I don't want to waste time go search for the clicker. Because I always get the counts mixed up. Oh, the sun, the sun is just burning my back nicely. <laughs> I don't know how much SPF my shirt is providing. I'm always dressed like a desert ninja. Ooh, it's a bite, but somebody half-heartedly... See, when you get a fast start... Oh, I don't know if I was snagged or this was a bass or something. This was... This was some resistance, folks. Where did the fish go? I don't see any fish anymore. What happened? You find the fish, you anchor, you sit down, and boom, the fish is gone. Kind of gentle. I don't want to net fish anymore. Unless it's a nice fish. Number two. Nothing to show yet. kind of tired of the head cam today in this sun is difficult that is number three yep. I can't show you the fish is good or my bait from up there but it's a different angle sometimes you get tired of the same angle same point of view because number three I think so let's get four Something is nibbling right here, right in front of the boat. 
problem is when you wait for this silly fish, you just lose time. Mm. Well, that's a good cast. The wind slowed down a little bit. These schools, man, they move so easy. You think, oh, that's a nice school. I can sit up here and fish for 30 minutes. Then a muskie shows up and they all poof. Hmm. The wind dying down is not helping me. We're stuck on three. It's four. Yep. these trains coming from never seen a train when when I drive here oh number five oh. no more slabs man you remember a month ago I was catching decent fish all the time I had a few sessions all of the fish were decent and now none of the fish are decent. That one is half decent. What is this, five? I lost count again. I'll have the number on the screen when you watch the video. But I'm assuming five. I do want a little bit of wind. Wondering when I'm releasing the fish if they go back and they are going back for sure. I see them on the live scope They go right back there. Wonder if they're spooking the school I don't know If I keep them nicer one Maybe I catch more All right, that was number six some tingles again that's why for my float fishing I use thicker line on purpose this is 0 18 oh baby seven I don't know I lost count so early I mean how do I survive with this kind of memory? But yeah, I like thick line just so there is no tangles for the float. When you're fishing with trout magnet, you kind of keep the line straight always because you are retrieving always. I don't get tingles when I jig with trout magnet ever. I don't know, this is eight or nine. I'm going to count it as eight. I'm sure I'm off by one, maybe two fish. But with fall fishing, man, because you have slack line 
And then you have the float. You have one weight here, one weight here. And then stuff just happens. Let's say you're very careful and you don't get tangles. But then you catch a crappie of the float was vertical and just got up and laid down. I still missed it. That's my favorite bite. I was saying, you know, you catch a crappie and you're pulling and you miss it. The hook comes off the mouth. And the float and the hook just come flying your way. Sometimes I try to deflect them to go behind me. You can't always. And if they hit the tip of the rod, oh, you got a nice tangle. And if you are working with like a six pound braid, oh, good luck. <laughs> good luck on tangling that. The biggest tangles are always when I miss fish or something happens. This is 11 inch fish here, folks. Get up to show you one nice fish. I think that was number nine. Who knows? Huh. Lie down again. Gets up. I'm fishing three feet deep and it's still. The float from, from vertical just gets horizontal. They don't sink it. This is number 10. See, I started slow because I think a muskie or something else was here. Then the muskie went away and the fish, they come back up. If they like the brush, they're gonna be, they're gonna hang around. It's number 11. He's fighting, but he's not very heavy. Okay, he's decent. This fish is 11 inches. This is 11 inch black crappie. My favorite fish to eat is 11 inch black crappie. If it's white crappie, it might have to be 12. They bony. Them white crappie is bony, man. Let's go get number 12. There we go. Stop it, number 12, folks. We got number 13. Hmm. There we go. Yeah. Small fish is better for numbers. I just crazy glued my uh, nickel worm again. This thing never dies. It's just not good for bluegill. They, they, on purpose, they come and it's not random. They grab only the bite of the tail and they pull it away, holding just the tail. And it drives you nuts. The float is whew, going down. Float is running all over the place. Now, bluegill will, big bluegill will slurp it, but these little ones, they come and grab just the tail. Oh, we missed number 14, but okay, that's a wake-up call because I started really horsing these fish. 
So what if they're small? Take your time. No. Nothing here. Oh, there's a fish here. No bite at all. Not even a bad fish. No bite at That's not a bad fish. Uh, that's one of maybe the best or the second best fish. Okay, he came off. We're counting him. He's in the boat. Okay, that is a good slab of rune. That was 14, I think. Even with this, it's going to wrap around the tip, but with the thicker line, it's not a problem. The thicker line doesn't even have to be stiff. Even if it's soft, if it's like 016 or 018, that's enough. You're not going to get a fatal knot with 016 or 018. 011? Yeah, you can. If it's braid, it almost doesn't matter what diameter. All knots with braid are fatal. Let's get number 15, folks. What is this? Okay. He tilted, he let it go. He tilted, he let it go. Tilted, let it go. Three times. Ow, 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 ow. The hook came off the fish and went into my finger, man. Uh, that's 15. Mm. Cast a little further, the fish close to me starting to become wary. Gotta buy some chips for tracing fish. Catch so much fish. Start tracing some to see where they go in the summer, where they go in the winter. And number 16, let's go. I mean, number 16 took off like a train and still no fish, nothing, not even, I didn't feel nothing. This one just disappeared, just altogether gone. Still no fish. That means only one thing. BG, BG in the area. We have BG in the area. My number 16. Not that big. Number 16, decent. Mm. Cast a little bit to the right to keep them fresh. No. Well, casting to the right was a mistake. Really? Nothing? Look, look, look. Tin, 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 tin. That's a typical BG action. And I lost it twice. We don't want to deal with no BG action, folks. Let's cast that way. Maybe close to me is just BGs. Number 17 or 16. What is this? 16 or 17? Is anybody counting at all? Uh, 
I'll, I'll say 17. By the way, BGs would count also if I catch them. See what I'm talking about? You see that? If this is braid, it's so sticky. And this line, this line doesn't even kink. It doesn't even kink. That was 17, looking for 18. No bite, three seconds. Ah, come on, man, I rushed it again. That's a BG. That's one of the BGs that was torturing me. I knew it. I knew it before I saw it. But that's 18. I don't care. Oh. Uh oh, something happened with my worm. <clears throat> Something happened with my worm. It's extra long now. Now this does happen, it's happened to me before. I might switch it if I have problem. It this happened to me once before. If a bluegill grabs the tail of the nickel worm in the mouth and you drop it off your hand and it falls straight down, and then you grab the line. And now the fish has nothing but the worm in its mouth. And you're just holding, holding the entire weight of the fish for the tail of the worm practically. In these cases, the tail of the nickel worm does stretch irreparably. It doesn't go back. You can kind of cut it if it's too long, but then it doesn't it doesn't look as good. See, I already don't like it. Maybe I should just switch to the to the other rod. I have another Nico Worm tight. Wow. Really, just because I stretched the worm a little? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, somebody finally ate it. Oh. Yeah, my worm is extra long right now. It's like half an inch, half an inch longer. I don't know if it's that much longer, but a little bit longer. Okay, that was 19 folks, or something like that. This would have been 20, or something like that. Okay, what happened? What happened? Something is not right here. Oh my god, bluegill. Number 20 is a bluegill, and it's a baby bluegill too. I'm gonna cast him behind me. Don't go back there. He'll probably go back there anyway. That's what been giving me these bites. Just take off like a boom. Okay, 21 is here. Ah, I lost 21. That was a crappy, not a bluegill. But I was fighting it good, as 21.
<laughs> I love the sound that my float makes when it falls in the water. Zip. It's exactly like some small insect just fell. I'm sure all of the fish come immediately to investigate the sound. It's 23. I don't know, what was my last record? I don't know what video you've seen. 24 or 23, something around. Something like that. I'm already very close. Uh, 24. Ow, 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 again. Again it went in, ow. It's 24. Decent fish actually. 10, 10 and a half, but a fat one. I'm, I'm sure I'm bleeding in a couple of places under the glove. Huh, interesting. I see even more fish now. <laughs> Got 24 fish. Maybe bluegill came. I'm, I'm running out of wind though. There's fish here, but without the wind, the beautiful action on the nickel worm. There we go. 25 <clears throat> Stupid phone always locks itself I'll just hear the alarm when it's time. I wanted to see how much time I have, but it locks in. See, I gotta jig it now. That's 26. I don't have time for this. I'll knock you with a hammer. I'll knock you unconscious. 26. Wow, no, no ripples anymore. Where to go? See? No more bite. I gotta start jigging it now. Uh. Twenty seven. No, why in the beginning I had complete slack for a few minutes? No bites. See, no bite now. You gotta... Before on the cast, the waves will take it and carry it a little bit, and that's enough. But now it drops and it sits completely still. And I gotta start playing it. And even when I play it, I feel I never play it as good as the waves. Uh oh. Should I lift him? <coughs> I risk. That's a big fish. That's a big fish, folks. That's a very fat. 11 and a half, maybe 12. 
look at this fish. Uh, from that far it will look tiny. That's a big fish. That was 28, right? Let's cast over there. Ah. I had a second chance. <laughs> and a third chance. But these are just bluegill here. I'm wasting my time. No time wasting, sorry. Ended up 27, folks. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that's not a bad number. Oh, it is number 28, but that doesn't count. If, if I was a little more focused, the bite was good, the fish is small, I could have gotten, a, could have gotten 30. Here we go. Thanks for watching folks, I really appreciate the time you spend on my channel, see you soon, bye bye.